kids, it's me, Elmo! Welcome back to another Sesame Street adventure, Barry Chow's Guided Sleep Meditation. You're in for a treat tonight, my favourite, the beach, yay! Are you ready to listen to the sounds of the waves pounding the sand, the wind flowing around, the people of Sesame Street relaxing, and seeing all the fun activities they are doing as we all fall asleep tonight. Are you ready for sleep? Remember to push the snooze button. I mean, the like button, silly me, so we can spread Elmo's love all around the beaches everywhere from the Philippines to New Zealand to Canada, United States of America, all over Europe and all over the world. Let's spread the joy of Sesame Street right now by subscribing to the channel. As Elmo loves you, yay! I really do love you. I'm getting ready. Ooh, I'm already tired myself. It's time to pass you on to my sidekick, Gonzo. And I'll see you at the beach very soon. What me? I can't even swim. I better get my floating device. Oh, can you help me at home? What do you think I need for my trip? Oh yeah, swimming togs. That's good. Check. Uh, what else? Uh, beach towel. Yes, good idea. Yes, yes, yes. Um, oh, how about a rubber ducky? Oh yeah, thanks Ernie. Oh yeah, I might need the beach ball. Hey, what about a baseball bat? Oh, thanks, Big Bird. I don't think we can play baseball at the beach. How about a bouncy castle for Count's Castle? Yeah, that would be strange, but interesting. Mmm, nom 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 nom. How about an ice cream cookie machine? Nom 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 nom. Well, I'll have to think about that one. I think this is getting a little bit out of hand. I've got my suitcase with my togs, beach towel, umbrella to keep me out of the sun. My trusty book. I like to read books. Do you like to read books at home, kids? Then can be very knowledgeable. Maybe it's something you should start trying at home. Anything else I'm missing? Oh, yes. Thank you. Sunscreen. Yes, I need my sunscreen. I don't want to be burning out there. And yes, a hat. A hat would help. As well. I, I would forget my head if it wasn't screwed on. Don't you mean your nose will fall off, Pinocchio? <laughs> oh, I mean Gonzo the Frankenstein? That's a good one. <laughs> I have my summery Hawaiian shirt on, ready for the beach. Who's Picking me up today. I wonder who would pick me up. Hello, kids. It's me, Kermit the Frog. I'm your local taxi Uber, DoorDash, menu lock, pizza delivery guy. I can go on and on and on and on and on. Get to the point, Kermit. We haven't even driven off yet. <coughs> Yes, sorry, this is a manual vehicle. I only got it yesterday. I've only driven automatics because this should be a piece of cake. Put, 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 stall. What's happened? Oh, nothing. Click, click. Woo, wee, wee. Badonk. What is that? Just a neighbor's mailbox. We'll be alright. Bang. What was that? It's only the door falling off. When I hit the pole, putt putt, rev rev, crash bang. Are you okay? Are you okay back there? You're awfully quiet. Everything's safe. Uh, it's okay. I'll talk for the both of us. You're in very safe hands with me. I hope. Anywho, where are you heading, my dear friend? Gonzo. The beach. The breakfast bar. Get your eggs benedict. BLT pancakes. All you can eat. No, no, no. I'm going to the... Uh, 
Oscar crash bang. What was that? It's any Oscar the Grouch trash can. How you going? Arrgh. What on earth are you doing on the r roof there, Oscar? My trash can always gets hit every hour or so. That's quite common knowledge. Maybe that's why I'm always grouchy. It's okay, Gonzo. I assure you, my driving is the best in Sesame Street, considering I'm the only driver here. I think I do a great job. No injuries today. It's a good day. Let me out. Let me out. Anywho, getting back. Where were you heading? The beach. Oh yeah, the beach. We have Miami Beach, Myrtle Beach, Santa Beach, Beach Malibu Beach, Santa Monica, Cooper's Beach, Waikiki Beach, Bondi Beach in Australia, Manu Bay in New Zealand, Copacabana in Brazil, Navagio in Greece, Bashiba in Barbados, Boracay in Philippines, the amazing Curaclo Beach in Ireland, Brighton in England, and so many more. What's your favourite one at home, kids? Kermit's heading to the Santa, Co Santa Monica Pier right now. Remember to, in the comment section to put your favourite beach, and I will reply. I just want to go to the beach. We are here. What you mean we are here? Well, we are on the edge of the cliff and in 15 seconds exactly, we will be right back. As you listen to the music to hear before we fall to the beach below. We'll be back shortly. Uh, curse you, Kermit. I can read the news report now as we go crashing to the bottom. Written by the amazing Kermit the Frog. Kermit the Frog saves Gonzo's life by rescuing him from the car crash from the water, giving back his life while they relax on the beach together laughing afterwards. No crash bang wallop. We made it safe and sound. Bang! Not sure about the car though, but me and Gonzo are safe. Safe! 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 Get away from me! Gee whiz! Well, we Are you okay, Gonzo? I will be once I get away from you. Another person safely delivered. I have my one star rating because I'm number one. Thank goodness that's over, kids at home. You still with us? Welcome to Santa Monica. P. What a beautiful beach it is. Oh, I forgot my sunglasses. Here you go, Kermit. Gonzo, I mean. Thank you, Kermit. That will be ten dollars plus a tip since I'm number one star rating. You wanting a tip of ten dollars to get twenty dollars? How about I give you $10 and no tip because I'll give you a one star rating right. Oh, thank you so much. My family would be so proud of me being number one. Anyway, you know why I like the beach? Because I can put my umbrella down to protect me from the sun. Sunscreen applied. Towel down. To get out my favourite book Gonzo loves chickens and relax on the beach all day long sometimes I like to make sandcastles I'll just grab my bucket and spade huh. I'm sure it was in my beach bag where's my bucket 
Oh, hey there, Gonzo. It's me, Bert. Here's what, what on what on earth are you doing with my bucket and spade? I'll show you. I dig a big circle trench that takes me a long time. Then make a little channel right up to the water so we can have our own little bath. Don't we, Ernie? Squeak, squeak. Me and my rubber ducky loves it. I always bring my scrubbing brush so I can reach my back. What more do you want? I appreciate you did a good thing for your friend. But next time, can you ask? It would be very nice. What did you do? What did you do? Where is my umbrella? Beach towel. My book. Urgh. I had to put sand somewhere. Sorry. And it was just right next to me. I didn't realise. How about you take a chill pill? You're looking a little bit flustered there, my friend. Deep breaths. Can you help me at home? A good way to calm down. Deep breathing. Deep breath out. Deep breathing. Deep breath out. Deep breathing. Deep breath out. Oh, thank you at home. I feel much better now. Let's see what Big Bird and Oscar the Grouch are up to. Hey Gonzo, Big Bird here. We're about to play volleyball with this beach ball. I found. Looks a lot like my beach ball. Wait a minute, this is my beach ball. Can you please ask nicely next time? You want to use my beach ball? Sure. Sharing is caring. Yes, sharing is caring. Even, even I know this. You want some of my apple core? It's so delicious. All this old pizza, scrumptious. Come join in. Hey, Elmo, join in with Oscar. Yay! For the next hour, they all played volleyball. I'm so tired. Thanks for the game. Sure, any time. I think I have to sleep in my bird's nest now. That sounds like a good idea. I might join you in my trash can. Sounds like a good idea to go to sleep. Wait a minute, Elmo. It is not sleep, safe to sleep in the water. Why? It's cold, nice and relaxing. It makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. You know, under the shallow rock, there could be rocks that you could hit your head. You could get eaten by sharks, dragged out to sea. Oh, yeah. You're so wise, big bird. I'll go back to Elmo's world to sleep. Oh, are you okay, Gonzo? You feel a little sad. Yes, I'm sad. I lost my favourite book, Umbrella, Beach Town, my beach ball. Just popped. My ride home's broken down. Don't worry, it will be fixed in a month. You'll be alright. It's okay to feel sad sometimes, but it's good to talk it out with a mate. Let out your stress, frustrations with loved ones, families, friends, teachers, coaches, doctors, doesn't matter who it is. Speak your truth, and the truth will set you free. Thanks, Elmo. I feel so much better. Of course you will, my friend. I'm Count Von Count, and welcome to Count... Bouncy Castle, a replica of my castle at Sesame Street. You can even see my organ, purple walls and bats on the ceiling. Before you go on my Bouncy Castle, make sure you have some of the world famous grape juice or water if you prefer. It's very important to keep hydrated at home kids, so we don't faint or get heat exhaustion from not enough water. If we drink regularly at the beach, we'll all be safe. Well done, kids, for having your drink. Come play! Jump, jump! Yahoo! Oh, this is so much fun. Look at my legs. Get higher and higher with every jump. Just like a bat. Did someone say baseball bat? It's time to play baseball. 
You can't play baseball at the beach. Why not? I love to play baseball. Well, first, baseball can hurt people when you're swinging it and injure them also with the ball. Oh, I didn't think of that. You were right. I just couldn't sleep. How about lying on the bouncy castle and I'll count you baseball bats. One baseball bat. Two baseball bats. Three baseball bats. Four baseball bats. Oh yeah. I love baseball bats. My grandma gave me this bat as a present years ago. And it's still my favourite present. Five baseball bats. Six baseball bats. Seven baseball bats. Eight baseball bats. Night night, big bird. Extra, extra, read all about it. Welcome to the Sesame Street News. I'm your reporter, Kermit the Frog. I always wear my trench coat as I was told by my new producer I can't wear a leaf around like a caveman. After the last incident, when carnage broke loose. Sorry, I get sidetracked. I must bring home the bacon tonight. What you see? I'll bring home some bread tonight. Anywho, Cookie Monster's latest creation, the ch- chocolate chip cookie ice cream sandwich, is debuting tonight on Barry Chow's Guided Sleep Meditation. Come get yours now for a limited time only. Right now. No, no, no. Where's my cookie? Chocolate chip cookie ice cream sandwich. Oh, me cookie ate it all. Unfortunately, within a minute. We had one person buy them all in one go. Not sure who. It was you, cookie. Who, me? Burp. Oh, yeah, me. I love cookie so much. Sorry, Gonzo. And kids at home. Maybe next time. How about we go for a swim? Hey, wait a minute, Cookie. You need to rest for 30 minutes before you jump in the water so you don't get a stitch. Why, thank you, Gonzo. Such a good friend. Here's a secret. I've got one little chocolate chip cookie left for you and for the kids at home. For someone that has done a good deed. But we must all go for a swim first. So everyone at Sesame Street went for a swim, including Oscar the Grouch, Big Bird, Granny Bird, Mr. Snuffleglis, Bert and Ernie, Kermit the Frog, Miss Piggy, Elmo, Cookie Monster, Rosita, Grover, Zoe, the Two-Headed Monster, and of course Julia, our newest resident of Sesame Street. Hey, I love swimming as it helps me calm down and use my senses. The feeling of touch, the water soothes my body, mind and soul. I remember to put my sunscreen on so I don't get sunburned. Hey Julia, do you remember what it's important to swim between the flags? So we keep ourselves safe away from the rips in the water. I like to make big splashes in the water, it's so much fun. Thank you, Rosie. Well, it's time for me to go to sleep. What to remember from today's episode, kids? Remember, when you go to the beach, you need your beach towel, togs. Remember, sharing is caring. Be kind to one another. We'll produce results over time as you go through life. Being honest, kind, caring makes the world a better place. The Kermit the Frog is the number one driver in town. Oh yes, I need someone for Demolition Derby at my speedway and you'll be number one, Kermit. Remember kids to always wear your sunscreen. Have plenty of fresh water while you're out at the beach to keep hydrated. Don't go for a swim until 30 minutes after you've eaten. Let's finish off with imagining the waves hitting the sand. On your favourite beach, you enjoying the sound of the sand 
wind whistling through the breeze while your toes are dug into the sand feeling each grain sand on your f toes as you are at peace with the world as you lie on your favourite beach now remember to subscribe and push the like button will help us out bring more of these great videos for your relaxation you are amazing you are gracious you are unique you are beautiful inside and out as the waves pounding the sand pounding the sand you are so relaxed take it all in the fresh air going through your lungs it's the time for bedtime is now we'd like to thank you for going on this journey with us tonight at Sesame Street we hope you learnt about the beach and a bit of water safety tonight and the next time you go to the beach you will remember to bring your sunscreen beach towel togs drinking water Swim between the flags and don't go for a swim after you're eating for at least 30 minutes. Night night from everyone at Sesame Street and we will see you again at the next video. Night night sleep tight.